not my character sprite. Alright, let's do it. Fine. I never know what fine means. The manual doesn't actually have fine in it for weather, so I'm, I always just leave it at float because... Because who cares, right? That was close. I had a nice start there. If I had caught that third uh, trash fish and gotten that level up, I would have had more more poundage points and then had that 400-pounder Banna winner. Also, of course, that would have been nice. There we go. All right, first hookup. All right, good. First fish is going to be in before a minute. This is great pace. Yeah, first trash fish in before a, before a minute. That's nice. Yes. Oh, and a 400-pounder. Okay, so an another great start. That's a great way to start. Catch a junk fish. Quick. 400 pounds. Now, without a long grind-out battle, under a minute, and the second fish is going to be in under two. Actually, well under two. Under 130, actually. Which is nice. So, un under 90 seconds in, we've got two trash fish in the bank. Right. Okay, this one's a lot bigger, so I'm gonna need some some help. Can't rush this one in. And I haven't gotten that level yet, so it's gonna be tricky. Let's see if I can get the get the lucky pull. All right, I, I did get some exhaustion on him there. Alright, so pulled just in, <laughs> almost till the hook came out, and I got just enough exhaustion to move him. Just enough to move him, which is all I really need. Yeah, and I got my vitality point back, so I've got some of my strength back. I'm still okay in terms of time. Because those first two were so quick. So it's still under three minutes before I've caught the uh, the last fish. And it's another four, another four. So that's a pretty good start for, uh, for getting the body strength level. It's actually a great start. So now... All right, all right. Good hookup. This is this is a nice size. If I can get the exhaustion that I need, there we go. This run is definitely alive. Cause this is a this is a very nice fish. I got the lucky cutscene there. The lucky uh, go for it. That was a pretty slow pullback, so this is going to be a good size. Four. Let's go for it. Although if it, if this is not the day winner. I'm going to continue. If this is not the day winner, I am going to continue. Four thirty-eight. This could be the winner, though. That's the winner. That's it. Okay. Clear. Cool. So here's where time can start to add up a little bit though is once you get to these these levels. So that was that was just really nice uh, that was just a really nice setup on that first day. I just got a really lucky setup. Three junk fish caught quickly. They were decent size, which will come into play here uh, as I go towards my muscle power level up, which I should get in this 
level on this day. Um, and then hooking the the day size winning fish right away, getting the, the solid hook up so that I could uh, lean back and jerk it back and forth. I got the lucky scene, the lucky uh, QTE there. So that was just a really nice, uh, a really nice setup on day one. That's, a, that's about as good as you can ask for on day one. Here on day two, we're not uh, not seeing as many fish. We're coming up on two laps up and down this thing, and no and no schools of fish. Here's our whale. Decide which one I want to follow. Go with the fish. I haven't really found a difference in them. I probably should have uh, motored over the whale before, but if these guys don't produce for me by the time we come back to the whale, I can always just jump ship behind that whale. See what I can draw there. They're getting close to the dock again. That's kind of a risk in this level, in this Kailua level, because it's so uh, tall and narrow. Uh, you risk that. There we go. Alright, got another nice hook up here. This is a, a good sized fish. Excellent. I don't know if it's going to be the day winner, but... I mean, I really, I really don't think it will be, but... We'll see. Going for about 600 here. Going for about 600, and yeah, I'm gonna turn that one down. If I was really wanting to YOLO it, I probably would have gone with it, but I am I am under leveled here on this uh, on this day, so it won't it won't uh, it won't kill me to catch a few more. And, and gain that muscle power level. There we go. That was for lag. Alright, this fish is enormous. Um, so the, my only hope is to try to get the bat. And even with that, you can see I'm not able to move it very well, but this is going to be the day winner. And may give me my, um, my level up just on the size of this fish, because this fish is huge. Alright, so I'm going to have another another great split on this day, because this is definitely going to be the winner. 10.50. 10.50. Alright, double level up. Yes, I'll keep that fish. So I'm glad I hung around after that 500 pounder. I'm glad I hung around. Look at that. Day 2. This might be a new uh, record fish on day 2. 1,001. Nice. Guess I should have split a little bit later, but it doesn't really matter. 1,001 pounds. Nice. Cloudy today. Oh, Kauna Kakai. Yes, this is the level I want. It's been so long, I, I, I was scared I wasn't going to remember which, uh, which ones I needed. Oh, uh, yeah, so cloudy, I can leave it float. I almost forgot about that. I need to focus now. Now that we're on, uh... Under nine minutes onto, onto day three, we're doing pretty good. But so much of this game relies on luck. So here's another real nice one. But uh, I don't have the nice solid hookup like I had in the other one, so I might not be able to get the go for it before the hook comes out for me, or any exhaustion on the fish, so I might not be able to move it, especially with my muscle power only B. Haha, <laughs> you are right, Saniku. I, I thought about that. When you get those big ones, it does take, uh, it does take a long time for those poundage to count up. If we, if we were really wanted to, uh, to optimize we would, uh, you try to catch a fish that's just big enough to win. So you don't have to wait for 500 extra pounds to count up on the scale. 
Welcome, Sonic Koo. It's great to have you. I know it's been a while since I've even done an attempt on this on or off stream. So I figured it was time. I had, I have, I had a couple hours this morning, so... I can get a little bit in. This one is more manageable than I thought. I thought this one, I wasn't going to be able to move it without the, uh, the go for it, but... I'm able to move it a little bit. But, uh, getting the lucky massive fish earlier in the game does help with your, um, with your leveling. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not moving this guy very well. I really needed the uh, lucky cutscene on that one, probably, to get uh, to have any realistic chance on him. Guys around, yeah, and I, 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 I need, I need to uh, get started on that, on that guide that I want to put together, or the, or the fact that I want to put together for other prospective players, because those facts are just incorrect with you and I of what we found in this game. They're just flat out wrong. So, uh, I've got to get on that as a, as a public service to the internet. I love your, your tapping down trick, Saniku. That really works well on these, on these fish. You're able to get those couple of feet at a time in without pulling the hook out too much. And it also seems to help contribute to their exhaustion pretty well. It gets them the uh, gets the sweat drops built up on them. The pulling back and reeling seems to make a big difference. All right, here we go. Let's see if I get good luck. Lost a big chunk of line. Oh yeah, that's right. TMR is gonna have to get there. Although, if he is he playing them in chronological order? Because if so. Then we've got some time. I haven't, um, I haven't been following too closely recently. Because this is, I think, a 1992 game. This is very, very, very late. Ah. I'm losing ground on this fish. It's too bad, because I, I would want, I want credit for, um, for getting that the QTE, because it seems like you get credit for them whether you get them right or not. That's what I kind of found the last time I was I was playing, is that just doing them uh, gets you the level ups in them, which, which makes it, I guess, a lot more fair than I originally thought. I originally thought you had to get them correct. Yeah, I'm not going to get this guy in. I originally thought you had to get them correct, which I thought was extremely unfair, but uh, it does... It does even it out a little bit, I guess. Just by getting them, you can get points for them. But it, it does uh, hurt a little bit that you have to get so many. Oh, okay, he does a raffle for it. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to pop into his uh, chat sometime when I'm... I usually can't catch him live. Because a lot of times I'm not uh, I'm not available when he's when he's streaming. But I need to catch you and chat over there sometime. <laughs> and then yes, I, I I would love to watch him play this. I'd pop into that chat if I if I ever saw that. I might even I might even stay up late some night to watch him play that. <laughs> Because the guy wouldn't have to be huge, it really would just have to be... Like, I, I just have to copy and paste some of the things that I've already written down. Because I moved them from, I was taking some of them on by hand on a pe uh, pen and paper. Uh, but I just need to get some of those things down. You know, here's the poundage you need for this, and here's how this works. And then there's still, of course, a lot we don't know 
and things that I don't know if... things that would be really hard to test with, um, with the game. So things like what effect choosing the, the lure actually has, those would be things that you would probably have to have ROM hacking knowledge to get through those. But, um, but just things like explaining how the leveling system works. We know how it works, even if we don't know all of the poundages exactly, although that, that's a little bit uh, easier to test, the exact poundages and the... Uh... Alright, so here's another nice one that I'm going to have to... There we go. I have to try to get that. So this might be this day one. If I can get this one in without incidents. All right, let's see. If I'm going to be on to uh, day three or day four, yes, I'm going to be on to day four at uh, at sub twenty minutes. So let's see if the uh, if the one hour can happen today. Yes, a rough idea of how it works, yes. <laughs> You're right. We could call it a rough idea. Alright, cool. So we're going to be on to day four. And it's clear. And yeah, and again, I don't, I don't know uh, how the depth really works, but I'm going to just for now trust the manual and go for its recommendation on uh, on clear days. So yeah, here on day four, what the, the, the thought that I have, at least right now, is with all these smaller marlin that you hook all these small marlin, I try to prompt uh, the QTEs while they're close to the boat, while I... Because it's, because it's so much easier for me to bring them in, you know, like on day one, a two or three hundred pound marlin is a lot harder than on the last day here to bring in. So, I'm trying to prompt some QTEs from the smaller ones, although this one is certainly not an um, insignificant fish. But uh, that helps you. You can get the skill level up while you're kind of leveling up the other skills. And then, of course, on this last day, you always could get, like I've gotten in the earlier days, a, just a lucky hookup of a, you know, a day winner um, and get the, the lucky go for it. You know, I think I was going to get that one. Or you could just kind of win by luck at any time. So for just what, the way I was thinking is that if you can get to this last day and do any grinding that you need to do on these smaller ones, Yeah, I, I suppose you're right there. I hadn't really... Oops. I hadn't uh, made a note of that. But um, I suppose just going by what I remember, uh, it does seem like a number of them are, are less well-hooked. You know, like this one here... I'll try to prompt a cutscene with him. I'll try to get all the load off my line. Uh, as much load off the line as I can. Here we go. Alright, so even though... Yeah, because... Because I'm a little bit stronger, I think possibly because I'm a little bit higher level. Um, even, even though I, I got that one wrong, it didn't quite get it to breaking strength. So I'll get the credit for the for that QTE and for that fish and for the fish size because I still have all of the areas to uh, to level up. So that was a very productive fish right there. It was 400 pounds towards the next muscle power, one more fish towards double A, and then one QTE, one unsuccessful QTE. And I don't know if they count differently or not. That's something that. Uh, I'll have to see if they if you get more points for getting them correct. But uh, but you definitely do get credit for the incorrect ones some somehow some way.
So here's another one I'll try to prompt a QTE because it's another not not huge fish. And sometimes it's kind of hard to uh, to get them to get a QTE on these ones. Sometimes they they'll kind of troll you on that. You'll get them here within 20 feet, and they won't uh, they won't oblige you with a with a QTE that you want. Here we go. All right. So, and that time, it's nice when you can get him in there. All right, there's that muscle power stat. That, all, all, that was all on level C. Yeah, credit with experience with how the fish mine works. Yes, yes, yes. I'd rather just n have your skill level have you not have to deal with them. Just rather have, let you pull him in. Like, let me just catch these fish. You think of your skill, you'd be able to uh, to keep them out of the prop. You'd probably have less control over uh, getting them to jump or tailwalk. Oh, and I found I found text. This is interesting, Taniku. I found some text. I don't know if I if I mentioned this before, but when I was uh, going through, I opened up the ROM in a text file. Um, not just in the in the emulator hacking um, hacking screen, but. I just opened it up in a text file, and I found a piece of text that says um, something like, Wow, that marlin is trying to ram the boat. Uh, and then a little bit after that it says, Ha ha, he was just hurting himself. Alright, here we go. I got some bonus, possibly bonus exhaustion on this fish. And I want credit for that QTE, so I want to catch this guy, but unfortunately he's on the big side. Oh, here's another QTE. Shoot! And if I can't get him in, yeah, if I can't get him in, I don't think I'm going to get credit for these. But I'm, he's going to be tough to move if I can't get uh, a lucky go for it at my muscle, because I'm only muscle power B. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I'm only muscle power B. That one's too big for me. Although I, I still do believe in the uh, in the getting to day four, at least for now, I believe in the getting to day four because it's always possible, although probably improbable, to get that that lucky go for it on a day winner size fish. Plus, you can do all the grinding you want on fish of this size. Yeah, maybe maybe it's a, maybe that's a shark exclusive QTE. Hi R6. Hello, hello, hello. R6, I've I've, I've seen you pop up in Sula's uh, chat. Okay, so there's my body strength at the top. Not much on the muscle power there, but I should be getting close on a on a skill level. So R6, I've been seeing you over, over on Sula's uh, chat. I've been watching his uh, FF5 solo run, but unfortunately, I can't usually catch Sula alive. I have to catch him uh, on on bots. But uh, I'm I'm off from FF5, as you can see, for a little while. I'm trying to get my uh, Blue Marlin time down to under an hour. And I'm on the this is the last level of the game, but it's also the longest level where you get uh, the poorest luck in catching fish that uh, are going to be day winners. So even though it, even though I'm 35 minutes under an hour now, it's quite possible that I won't make an hour on this, on this level. It's quite possible. So we shall see. I'm going to have to scatter one of these. That's for lag purposes. This game really bogs down when it has more than one school of fish on the screen. Haha. -ha. Yes, whatever floats my boat. Not gonna try to crash this boat. Haha. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This one, I don't think this one's gonna be big, but. I'm gonna just I'm gonna see just because I still have some uh, muscle power that I can level up. 
Yep. So there's 300 more for my muscle power. And I don't know when they're exhausted like that. I guess I could have tested that. Uh, I don't know if they if they are less likely to uh, trigger QTEs or just as likely if they're exhausted. It seems like uh, when they're exhausted, they do fewer um, battle screen jumps. They do them less often, or they don't or they don't do them at all. That's something I need to actually empirically test. But it seems like they jump less when they are when they're exhausted. So I don't know if that is the same for QTEs. That was a mistake. I did not mean to do that. That wasn't for lag, although I could say it was. I could say that was lag management right there. Whoa! Look at the lag here. Yeah, R6, this fishing game is, uh, I think more than decent. It's it's a fishing RPG, kind of. Because you uh, have some, there's some hidden um, level stats that you can have. But also uh, a good amount of luck required to uh, to hook and then to catch the um, the fish to win each day. Right, and that's right, but not, <laughs> you're right about about it making logical sense. But uh, we all know that not everything in this game quite uh, conforms to to logical sense. Some things do, but I, I do think this is a a well designed game for what they could do on the NES um, for trying to simulate the you know the experience of fishing. It does work in a lot of luck, which of course real world fishing does. I think it's fairly well balanced. You know, the difficulty of actually fighting and, and reeling in a, a larger fish. I think it's fairly well balanced for that. That was unfortunate, but I think I can still get him in here. I'm not sure on the size of this one. This one might be a five or six, so it's not going to be enough to win the day if I get him. But I do I do want him because I've got that I got the QTE experience to collect there. Oh, shoot! I would I would have got him in before the line broke. Without that battle screen jump, I would have gotten him in before the line broke. Here we go again. All right. So I'll get the poundage and the QTE, but I should get a skill level here soon. Wow. I haven't really been keeping track of how many QTEs I've had, but I should get a skill level soon. And that's 600 towards my next uh, muscle power stat, which I also haven't been keeping uh, very good track of. You need to try, kind of try to keep a, a running total in your head, but uh, it doesn't really help all that much because you don't really have any control over how big the fish are that you catch. Sonicu, that's a great question. If if the if it's a E or if it's a, a propeller QTE, they may uh, have different values. And then, of course, getting them right or wrong would also um, could could possibly have different values. Here we go. Let's do it. So this is uh, another smaller-ish one. Although not too small. All right. So I'm gonna try to see if I if I'm, I'll see if I can trigger a, a QTE. I'll just I'll give it a a little bit to trigger a QTE while it's exhausted, but it, I might not. I, I don't want to waste too much time on it though. I don't want to waste too much time because I do still want to get that. Uh, Alright, there's muscle power A, that's good. So I should be able to physically handle, if I... I should be able to handle uh, a fish of day-winning size, physically, if I hook one. I'll still get this tuna, um, just in case... Just in case I, I do end up grinding up to the double-A level, but uh, let's hope not. Yes, the QTE value... Yes, 
you're right. It would be would be game hacking only probably, and a lot of these things might be. Yeah, save states would help a lot, but um, yeah, for some things. So uh, another one. I'm getting nice luck with the uh, on the smaller fish on the on the go for it ones. Let's see if. Okay, so it looks like we can trigger QTE on on an exhausted fish. That's good. So that's good to know. I just need to remember that now that you can trigger a QTE on an exhausted fish. Although it's just so strange, I have not gotten a skill level up yet. I don't know how many of those I've had. Oh yeah, R6. Um, the the when you hook a billfish, yeah, they they have their own theme, and that you you can also see the blue fin coming out of the water when it's a billfish. That those are the fish that count for the tournament. So sailfish, swordfish, and then uh, the marlins, the the marlin family. Uh, but I could tell the other one was a tuna because it had different music, and then also there was no uh, fin sticking out. It was just like a white uh, foam on the water. So tuna will sometimes come up behind a school in the shape of a, a marlin. There we go. Yeah, Sonicu's got it. Yep, and shark music is awesome. That shark music is my absolute favorite music in this whole game. Unfortunately, sharks uh, don't count for your tournament winnings, although they can be quite large and they can help you level up. So if you do hook one early in the game, it is worth uh, pulling them in. Because they, they are, their poundage counts just as much as, uh, as other fish. Contrary kind of to what the manual says, although the manual is very confusingly written on the subject. Um... Because it says things like, you get no points for catching a shark. Um, but I think what they mean is you get no tournament points for catching a shark. But uh, the player, the, the young kid reading that manual probably would read that as you don't get any experience points. Although they don't really call them experience in the manual. This, this game's manual is very, very, very poor. It's a wonder that anybody figured out how to play this game. This one's very small. But I'm going to see if I can get a QTE out of him. I'll see if I can at least try and get that skill level bump from this fish. Because when I, when I do hook that day winning fish, I want to be able to, uh, to handle everything they can throw at me. So if I can get a skill level, that would help. Yeah, do not consult Manuel, yes. Man, another one wrong. Consult Manuel. Yes, I love that. <laughs> so still no on that. Still no skill level. So I guess I understood less about the skill level than I thought. I understood much less about the skill level than I thought. So it must be then that um, that you you get more points for choosing correctly and fewer for uh, I, I guess I don't know this game is is pretty cryptic with a lot of its systems. Yes, R6. I'm glad you found the shark tune because that is fantastic. I'm glad, I'm glad you liked it. And you're right, that, uh, it is strange And this company didn't really make very many games that I, that I've ever seen. They, they made this and the Black Bass as another, it's a freshwater fishing game, but it doesn't work, Black Bass doesn't work quite like this one. And I, I like this one better than the Black Bass. Um, yeah, that shark tune is, is fantastic. This game also has a nice, um, all right, this is this is a great this is a great one if I can uh, if I can move him. This is a, this is a good sized fish. Sad that he's not hooked very well. 
but this is a, this is a good fish. I don't know if I'm gonna get this one in. Friends, I don't know if I'm gonna get this one in. Yep, alright. See if I can get... I know this... I'm probably gonna pull the hook out. But I'm gonna try to, try to prompt the, the lucky... The lucky go for it, but I don't know if I'm gonna prompt it before I lose him. Yeah. The other thing about this one, uh, where if you, it also just is more difficult to catch fish that are that are larger. So you kind of, if you really want to optimize time, oop, there's one. Got them just before they. Scattered up to the edge of the screen. Yes, and that see that's another thing. When you get those really big ones, um, you know they take a long time to pull in, and and you lo you lose them. You have a hard time with them. Although a 900 pounder will win this day, so that's what you want. Really, is you want uh, an eight or 900 pounder that you can easily get in quickly, because by hooking those thousand plus pound ones. All right, let's see if... All right, so I got this one correct. Let's see if I can finally get that skill level up. Let's see if we can finally get there. No. I don't know what's happening with that skill level. But yeah, what I, what I want is to hook a, a high 800 or, or 900 pound fish and get him in. And that's all I need. But uh, yeah, hooking those big thousand plus pounders is not super helpful if you don't if you don't get a lucky cutscene because I'm still only a muscle power A. Oh, all right. So even though there wasn't much uh, strain on that one, I lost him. Even though there wasn't much strain, so he must have been a little bit bigger than the uh, three and four hundred ones you get so often here on this last day. Alright, this one's not bad, so I'm, I'm not gonna prompt a QTE with this one. I'm gonna try to just get this one in, although I may still get one. Because this one's a little bit bigger, so I do want those, I do want those pounds, if I can. 500, that's good. I do want those pounds towards my, um, towards my max muscle power level. And then once I get up to that max muscle power stat... ...then we'll see, see what we can do. Get one there, nope. That was for lag. Just to get that school out of the way. Oh, and this is... When they get into this little nook, it's tough, but this, in my opinion, the, the screen that I'm on, this is the easiest, most open screen on this last day. I just want, I didn't want to deal with them. In my opinion, this is the most open screen layout of this last day. The other ones have bridges and things in them that are really laggy. Um, and then also, there's lots of obstacles that fish can run into. So, even though... This one has that kind of unlucky spot up at the top of the screen. Uh, it's the most open. Alright, this is a good size fish. I don't know if it's a winner, but if it's if it's eight, I'm gonna try it. If it's eight, I'm gonna I'm gonna go weigh in. Cause it's decent. I'm gonna try to get some of the strain off the line and uh, some some hook strength back. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna. Ah, that was bad. Bad on the jump. That's what I was trying to avoid. Was I, I? I wanted to get him in before he could pull off another jump. Hmm. 
And he's got he got some refs there. All right. So if I get this wrong, it's probably gonna break right away. Yep. If I got it wrong. Because I don't know how many QTEs I've, I've gotten and not gotten a skill level up. That would have been really helpful right there, because if I got that one correct, I may have gotten some uh, some bonus exhaustion on him, which I really needed. And he was so close to the boat, that would have been uh, fish caught. Still might not have been a uh, day winner. It still may have been like a seven, a 700. But obviously I would want those pounds for my muscle power anyway. Uh, but it could could have been an 800 that I uh, that I would have definitely taken to the way station because the 800 is a potential to win. The 800 pounds are. It's not a guaranteed win on this last day. 900 is just about guaranteed win. Um, that 800 is possible that you won't because the size to beat um, by my observation has been between 750 and 850. So on, on my last streaming attempt, I got so close. It was I, I caught one that was 806, and I got beaten by an 809 on that particular day, and I would have had a 46 or 47 minute time on the on the speed run. So this is another fairly decent one, and I've got him hooked pretty well, so I can yeah I can get some exhaustion on him by uh, by rocking back and forth there. Let's see. Let's see. 700. There's my muscle power up. Um, you know what? I am going to see if just by blind luck I've got it. Because I'm so close to the, uh, to the way station here. I've never heard of the uh, their Genesis fishing game. 659. All right, so 659 isn't going to do it for sure. So I'm not even going to go to the uh, to the next one. But I'm glad I waited. Had it been in the in the 730s or 40s, I may have tried it. I have never uh, I've never heard of their Devil Fish game, but I will have to uh, try that out because that's uh, that's interesting. The black bass is. The music in the Black Bass is, is a little more simple than this one, in my opinion. It's not it's not bad though, and some of the tunes are decent. Alright, so let's see if I can get a quick QTE out of this one. Oh, it's an odd Arkanoid, huh? Devilfish is a strange Arkanoid game. Yeah, I saw Hot Bee still has a website. Uh, I tried to send them an email to their San Francisco office about this game, uh, and the email bounced back at me, but they still have a website that's promoting some PlayStation 2 game. Like, the website hasn't been updated for years since, like, it's like coming 2005, some Japanese-only PS2 game. But they had, they had, at one time, a San Francisco office. So now that, now that my... Um, two physical stats are leveled up all the way. Actually, catching fish doesn't help me any unless they, um, unless I can get skill levels from them. So I'm gonna try to, uh, get a quick QTE on some of these smaller ones that I hook. And if I can't, then I'm just gonna cut them. I should have actually just cut that last one if I couldn't get a QTE out of them. Alright, here we go. All right, so there's a correct QTE. Let's see if this one. I can't believe how many I've gotten and not and not a skill level up. There it is. Oh, devilish. Okay, sorry, I misread. Devilish. <clears throat> devilish, no F. Devilfish. I kept thinking devilfish. All right. Um. <clears throat> all right, so there was my skill level C. So I've got I've got maxed out uh, physical levels, skill level C. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, 
we got 15 minutes under an hour. Let's see if we can get the get a nice time here. We've got to break that hour PB. I think we can do it because I maxed out on levels, so I just need to hook. All right, so that that tuna there, uh, R6, that that fish right there, I could tell instantly by the music and by the lack of fin that that was a tuna, and. Because I've maxed out my levels, um, that literally is no help to me at all, catching that fish. Haha. <laughs> yes. Gotta get these. Gotta get this time in. See if I can get a cutscene here. Because this one's, this one's quite small. But if I don't get it soon here, uh, I'm just going to cut. Alright. Not going to do it. See, on this last day, there's no shortage of billfish, uh, R6, as you can probably tell on this last day. No shortage of, of fish to hook and fish to catch, but uh, a lot of them are small. Day three, we think, is probably the best day for catching mostly big fish. Alright, so I got that one wrong, but I'm going to take it so I can get credit for the, the QTE. But yeah, if you're just after catching larger marlin, day three we think has uh, has more big size fish. Uh, so that's why this that's why the splits are are as they are. I have the splits kind of set at uh, ten minutes for each of the first three levels, and then a half an hour for beating the last level, just because of uh, how rare big fish are on the last level here. All right, let's do it. And any one of these fish could be it. Any one of these fish could be it. Another thing to look at if we ever uh, get someone with ROM hacking experience digging in this game is according to the manual, um, fish will not bite if they're... or they'll, they'll be blinded temporarily by the sun if... Um, if you're going into the sun, it says fish can be blinded and uh, have a reduced chance to strike. And again, I don't know if that was just um, stuck in there in the manual because, or if that actually has some kind of effect. I mean, again, not that you can really control it because the fish schools just go in the direction that they go. So you can just kind of find another fish school or wait for the one you're on to change direction. So like, I guess technically, now I'd be going away from the sun, so I'd have a better chance. Although, I guess I did uh, get a fish to pop up right there as soon as we changed direction, so maybe there is something to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. if I can trigger a uh, QTE. Otherwise, I'm going to cut. Now that I'm under 10 minutes here before the hour, it just gets so frustrating because you're like, Urgh. like, I just need the, that luck to hook the... All right, here we go. All right, got it correct. So I do have skill level C, but now that I'm maxed out in levels, like, I just need to hook that... I need to hook that, uh, that day-winning size fish. And I've had maybe one or two, but I haven't been able to move them because I hadn't, uh, I wasn't leveled leveled high enough. And then I got bad luck on possibly the maybe 800 pounder that I hooked before um, on the on the QTE. I got him close, got the bad bad pick on the uh, on the jumping QTE. And part of it's because I just get in so much of a hurry with these fish. <laughs> I'm not as patient as I probably could be, but it just I. 
it's just hard to have a, a grind out uh, fight with the fish. This is a non-bouncing school, so I'm going to try to dissipate it here to get rid of some of this lag. Ooh, all right, there's uh, there's a marlin following that non-bouncy school. I didn't mean to catch him. I meant to uh, just pull him, pull him under ten there. Uh, R6, it seems to be, and uh, Sonicu has done a lot more testing. Yeah, there we go. Sonicu has done a lot more testing on it. Seems to be based on the frame that you make your selection, not so much uh, what would make sense in real life. And it just seems that as your as your skill level goes up. There must just be more frames that have the uh, right choice on them as your skill level goes up. All right, this one's a decent size, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna pull this one in so I can get a get a a better feel for for how big it is at this at this level. Okay, 600. Because fish kind of feel, fish of different sizes kind of feel differently as you level up, and uh, because it's been a few weeks since I played this game at all, I need to get that. Um, need to get that. Yeah, R6. It seems that yeah, a tasser could be able to manipulate QTEs and and get them correctly. You know, the the task potential in this game, you know, could have could beat this game in like two or three minutes, maybe. Because they could... They could just hook a day-winning fish right outside of the of the dock on each day and get the lucky go for it. And then just pull... pull the fish in right away. So yeah, so that's what I do. When I get a, a QTE like that, I just mash. Uh, I just I just mash the A button to uh, just to get through it because it seems that your choice doesn't really make a difference, um, at least on a human level, for being able to uh, to to pick. So I used to agonize about it when I was a kid. You know, oh my God, what do I do? Do I douse the reel? That's what the reel is smoking one, which we haven't gotten yet on uh, this game, uh, this playthrough. You know, like, what do I do? Do I pull the rod or wind the reel? What do I do? Little did I know as a kid, not having access to save states, that, uh, yeah, your choice didn't really so much matter. I'm gonna move my I'm gonna move my lure a little bit deeper now. I forgot uh, on these clear days. Here we go. On these clear days, according to the manual again, and we can't always trust the manual, but um, you want it to be a little bit deeper uh, on in midday on a clear day. Had to get out of the way of that school. Yeah, this run had a great start. This really, really had a fantastic start. I had good luck on the first day. I got the fish in quick. Second day, again, I, I got a nice lucky QTE with, with the big 1,000-pounder. Uh, so it really had a great start. So it had potential. Nope, all right. No good there. That one wasn't going to be the winner anyway. Nor is this one. This one might be... Well, might be five or six. 
I'm trying to get my feel back um, for these different sizes when you're at uh, at double A level for muscle power. So we'll see. Let's just see about that. Seven. All right. Well, maybe maybe I'll weigh that seven. Maybe I'll weigh the seven. See if it ends up on the high side. See if I could just get lucky and hook another one on the way back. Not the first gap. So this is really a this is really a shot in the dark here, and it's going to waste some time if it's not if it's not uh, good size. Yeah, nope. Yeah. So when it gives you a a hun a whatever hundred, the fish is between. 50 pounds on either side of their of their estimate generally um, so that that fish could have been up to 750 um, and I, I have seen the fish to beat size on this level be in that in that neighborhood um, so what I'm really looking for is a is an eight or nine hundred pound fish on this day um, I could still get beat with an 800 pounder on this day, but there's no way to know what the size to beat is until you actually say, let's see the results for today. And if you don't have the winning fish, then you have to start the day over. This, and it's not really much of a penalty. You just start a new day again. Um, on, the same, on the same level that you were on before. So it's not really much of a penalty. But yeah, there's no way of knowing what the size to beat is, sadly. And it's determined when you start fishing for the day. So it doesn't it doesn't matter like what si what kind of fish you catch, it's determined right away when you start the day. And it's 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 gonna be the same throughout that day. The game just must roll a random number as soon as you start a level. Alright. I'm I'm done trying to grind for skill here. I've got two minutes. I'm just gonna try to hook as many fish as I can to see if I can get that big one to try to break an hour. I could still PB because I think my, my best time is 108. So I could still get a PB even, even if I don't break the hour mark. And I'll, I'll finish no matter what. But uh, right now we're just kind of praying to RN Jesus here. Because I should be able to handle an eight or nine hundred pounder. I just got to hook an eight or nine hundred pounder, and I'm really getting trolled here. Here we go. Actually, this one's not so bad. Try to get some momentum on this fish. Oh, shoot! Ah! Okay. Because I would have lost... I would have lost this one, because this one's kind of... This one's not bad. How is this one? 700. Man. 700. It's not, it's not worth going back and looking for it. On that one. That was eight. I'd have gone back and taken the, taken the stab at it, but you really want nine to be uh, to be safe as a winner in this on this level. Boy, that had potential. I was I was worried there. I mean, not worried. I was excited there that that one could have been eight. I didn't think it was nine, but uh, if it was eight. I would have tried it.
All right, we're over an hour. <laughs> First 800, 751. It could be. Could be. The day winner could be 752. That absolutely could be. I got beat by three pounds on the other one, except it was it was 806 and 809, not uh, 751, 752. But that would definitely be a, a Kappa moment. And then that, that of course, happened at 47 minutes, 46 or 47. I can't remember what the time was. But uh, yeah, that would have been a massive... A massive time on that uh, on that last one. That was just super, super crazy. But uh, still going for the PB here. Still have potential for, for PB. And this isn't a bad fish. This one's not so bad. So let's see what we got here. Another 700. Man. Well, I got my skill level up. I need that 8. Skill level's B now. That's good. So I'm not going to be... Hopefully not going to be losing any, uh, any day winners to bad QTE luck. Alright. Here's a good one. He's not hooked well. But this, this is a good fish. He's going to jump here and get me back out past 100. <laughs> yes, that was some salt. I was three pounds short of a massive time on my last run. Yes, I was just short of an incredible time. Alright, I gotta get some exhaustion on this fish. I can't move him. This is this is a good one though. This is this is a great fish. But um I've gotta get some exhaustion on him so I can move it. Use it. Yeah, I could actually use uh, a good QTE uh, prompt here. I could actually use a QTE here. Yep. This is going to be the fish, but uh, I don't know if I can get him in. Yep. I'm going to I'm going to try this one a little bit uh, longer than I normally do because this this will definitely be the fish. But um yeah, I'm I'm going to need I'm going to need the lucky QTE probably to uh to help me out and I don't think I'm going to get it. Fighting this fish out with just my own uh my own moxie is not going to work. Okay, here's here's a QTE. I lost him. I lost him. I pu I was pushing too hard. So even with with the QTE, I, I pushed a little too hard on that one. I could have used that that jumping QTE a lot earlier before it was 200 feet out. Because by the time a big fish gets uh, gets that far out, it's really unlikely that you'll be able to uh, to grind them in. By the time they get that far out. And, uh, yeah, the, the bad hooking was, was tough. Yeah, R6, when the, when the line beeps at one speed, it's kind of at, like, threat level one. And then when it doubles in speed, then it's at threat level two. And from there, it will, it can, it'll break. Um, but if you, if you have a good sense for how much strain it can take on each level, you can kind of keep it in that threat range. Uh, safely, if you have a good sense of that. What you risk, though, is um, 
a fish, if, if you're kind of working them in slowly and you get to the near the propeller, you can get that propeller um, QTE. If you guess incorrectly on that and you've got some strain on, uh, it's going to be an instant snap. Whereas if you don't have any strain on, you might survive um, with just some strain on the line. Okay, here's another nice one with a much better hooking. Let's see if I can get, get something going here. All right. Much better hooking. And I got the, I got the nice uh, QTE, so this might be it. Let's see if this is it. Yep. This is Teh Fish. This is it. So I'm still going to get the PB here. Still going to get the PB. Still got the PB. Yes, the Seagulls are six. They, they can have uh, uh, fish behind them just like a school. All right, this is it. That's me, so as soon as we get to the uh, epilogue... There we go. So that's my new PB. So it's about a minute and a half better than my last uh, previous PB. Here's another piece of good music. The, the, the uh, epilogue here. Love this, love this theme, or this, uh, this little, uh, overture at the end. Well, I'm glad I got a new PB, at least. Disappointing I didn't get that, but you, but you could see R6 there, uh, Sonicu, I'm sure, recognized it right away. On that winning fish, I had the really strong hook, so I was able to lean back, rock back and forth to get the, um, the, the go for it. Uh, and then I could pull him in. Yes, his, uh, how about those pecs? Look at those huge pecs that guy has. He, and, uh, his jeans.